Hey guys, this is DiploSec here with another review, and today we're going to be reviewing the Papa Woolly Mammoth. I had a review on this one, or I do have a review on this one, on the channel that I did two years ago. It has like a thousand views, and I just, the camera was really fuzzy, and now I have a better one, so I just decided to do this one, since that review seems to be the most popular on the channel. So anyway, starting uh, off with a few facts about Woolly Mammoth. Woolly Mammoth, its uh, scientific name is Mammothus primigenius, and it's an extinct species of mammoth that lived during the Pleistocene epoch if you're an evolutionist. And if you're a creationist 6,000 to uh, 3,000 or 2,000 years ago, and um, there were a lot of species of mammoth. There were, uh, of course, the woolly mammoth, the Colombian mammoth, the steppe mammoth, the pygmy mammoth and uh, I think a couple others, and they are related to African elephants. Um, of course, you can tell that it's just an elephant with a ton of hair on it. Uh, males could reach up to sizes of 13 feet at shoulder height, and females could reach up to 9, 10 feet shoulder height. And females were 4 tons, and males were 6 tons, so they were pretty large. They were covered with fur, of course, and they had uh, long guard hairs and shorter hairs for insulation. They also had antifreeze blood that scientists are discovering now, which is really amazing in my opinion because um, it's so cool to see an animal uh, deal with the elements in that way with antifreeze blood. So now, uh, sorry about the squeaky chair, now let's get into the overall figure. There's no inaccuracies that I can see. Um, I think it has the correct number of toes on uh, each foot. It has the two tusks. This uh, is probably a female because male tusks would have been longer and they are curly which would be a sign of a male mammoth but this is most likely female just based on the length of the, t the tusks. So now let's get into detail. Well, I don't know why I'm doing that. I can just zoom in. So, as you can see, the hairs on it are very fine and individually sculpted and painted, which is really nice. I'm sorry about all the scuffs on it, it's just from years of playing with it and just having it in my collection. So let's take a look at the front of it. And I love Papo's detail, I think their detail is really uh, just a fantastic feature on all their figures. Here's a look on the other side. Oops slippery and there's the other side and this thing is really durable I know it may not look like it because of the scuffs but I can easily paint that back and again I've had this for a while so it's been three years of play and everything there's the back of it again I love the detailing you can see the tail there um, back to this you can see that the shoulders kind of protrude right there, which is uh, great attention to detail. There would have been a massive hump of fat here, like camels have massive humps where they store water. Um, woolly mammoth would have probably stored fat in there. So, yeah. And if you're wondering, parents, the tusks are bendy and not hard, so you won't, if you step on this, it won't hurt. Uh, your child won't get hurt at all. So there's a look underneath it. And there's a look above. I can't really fit it because it's uh, very large. I think that it's probably about 6 inches long. Um, I'm going to do some size comparisons real quick. So here it is with the Papa Woolly Rhino, which is discontinued, which I'm very sad to hear about. Um, you can probably find this on eBay. Uh, I would get it while you can because these figures can be rather expensive if you've waited a while, like the Green T-Rex is, I think it's like 50, 70 bucks, last I checked, which was a while ago, it may have gone down though. And then here is the Sabertooth Tiger from Papo. I think these two scale perfectly if you're having an Ice Age diorama. It's perfect for school projects and everything. Again, I apologize about the squeaky chair. But yeah, now let's go into paint scheme. So... I love all the different browns in it. 
I think it's mostly a mocha brown, which is fine because we don't really, well, we actually do know. I was thinking of uh, dinosaurs. We do know because we find hairs of woolly mammoth in ice, and uh, they had a brown kind of fur. So, yeah, it, there's not really anything very dynamic about the paint scheme because it's just basically brown. But I like all the coloring and the shadows and all the things that they do. And the trunk is also bendy. I forgot to mention that. I wouldn't bend it too far, though, because it, it, I don't want you to break your figure. I saw uh, one review on Amazon where the guy put it in the dishwasher after his son, five-year-old son played with it outside in the mud. And I'm like, oh, wow. And so it is very durable. Um, so... Yeah, anyway, that's my review on the Papawoli Mammoth, just really quick. Um, it's a great figure, paint scheme's great, very safe and playable uh, for children. Uh, parents, you won't step on it and get hurt at all. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I appreciate all your support and views. Bye!